I know that ancestors on both sides fought in World War I and World War II, um, and we know bits about what happened to some of them, but I'd like to know a little bit more if possible. There's lots of things I'd like to know about my family line, uh, maybe have some confirmation on things that did happen. So, Becky, we've, we've spent some time going over your family tree and looking into your ancestors and just trying to find anyone that has a link to the First World War. We're going to um, focus on your great-great-grandfather, William James Henry Swatton. William was a warehouseman at a biscuit factory. And I've done a little bit of research, and that was actually Huntley and Palmer's biscuit factory in Reading. During the First World War, they actually provided biscuits. They had a contract with the British Army to provide biscuits, these sort of square, hard-tack biscuits known as the uh, Huntley and Palmer's Army No. 4. So, somewhere when I was a kid, some, probably my granddad told stories about bis the biscuit factories when they were kids. Um, or somebody in the family, they would take the broken biscuits at the end of like a shift um, as like treats. So that's actually, that's pretty cool to see that written there. And we discovered that he joined the British Army. We have William's service record. Now, there are some pages that are missing. Perhaps they were destroyed, um, like many other records. We have some key details at the top. Maybe, first of all, I would draw your attention to the date that he enlisted. So the 9th of November, 1914. I went about with a sort of forcing people to join. It wasn't until March 1916 that conscription was introduced. So at this time, it was That's voluntary. That's quite powerful. He signed up when he didn't have to, I suppose. A lot of these men that joined up were um, part of what was known as Kitchener's Army, the volunteers. And you may well have seen this poster, Britain's your country, join your country's army. Your king wants you. God save the king, yeah. Uh, you wonder whether William would have seen this and maybe it, this was played a part in him joining. I believe he's 34 when he enlists. He might have been seen as an older man and that's perhaps why if I, he joined the um, Army Service Corps. They dealt with logistics, with um, providing supplies to the army. And for someone who was a warehouse man like William, it was perfect to be working with supplies. They were, the army were tapping into his trade before the war. So he enlisted in 1914, um, in November. Oh, a year, I suppose. And two years later, he's still serving, but in France by the looks of it. And he's had no misdemeanors, no offenses, and so he's given a good conduct badge. Hang on, I'm just looking at the dates. They go all the way to 19. Yeah, that's right. He carries on, carries on serving. So he, for the duration of the war and after. So he, he, he gets through the war? He does, yeah. He survives. I have a medal card here for you. Um, you can see that he was entitled to the, the Victory Medal, the British War Medal, and the 1914 to 15 star. We do have something else to point out to you as well. During our research, we, we showed you that um, William joined the 21st Divisional Supply Column. And we actually had here at the National Army Museum Archive, we found a photo of the company, um, which we're going to show you. We don't know if William was, was within, within this photo, but we'd like to think that perhaps there is a face, and obviously you're looking over the sorting photos, maybe you'll see a family resemblance there somewhere. <laughs> I'm surprised how clear it is. You could, if you went through it, you potentially could find something. It's a good project. Yeah, wow. I feel quite overwhelmed by, by the whole thing. We focused on one particular person and there was so much that we found. I mean, bearing in mind it's 100 years ago, I wasn't expecting so much. If I could speak to William, I'd say thank you, because it takes a lot of courage to go. And he went, he went into the war by choice. So, um, yeah, I'm proud.